hi guys happy Monday so life comes with unexpected emotions okay so everyone is like really political these days and like I've always been a person that I've been like really involved in current events but I've never been like political I never voted till this year I never voted until I was 32 because I was in that same bubble like everyone else where they're like oh well, there's not somebody that I really love or like there's no somebody that like I really like identify with or whatever and I realized that that shit doesn't matter anymore you don't you're not supposed to be like a hundred percent on someone's page you're supposed to be like okay with their direction and okay with their ideas right and so it's like because this year has been so critical on everybody um i just felt like there was really room to make a movement like i really felt like okay stop with the excuses kp like you need to take a political stand on what you think and so you know i always felt like i was republican like i was brought up republican and i've just been on a democratic thing and i don't give a fuck okay and but it was really like opening to my eyes that I was talking with my father and I'm pretty estranged from my parents and so like we don't have many conversations and when we do we're just really realizing that there's a lot of things that like we disagree on and like like my father brought up the point about like Democrats having a certain ver certain opinion on mask <sighs> And so that's when I just had to let it go to my dad. Like, I had to tell him, I'm like, you know what? I voted for Democrat. This is what I think about coronavirus. I've literally had coronavirus. Like, you know, this is what, um, this is what I think. And, you know, it's like I dealt with my dad just having his reactions on his opinions about life and politics and it's so hard because it's so different than mine it's so different and um that's what's been hard for me and as an as an adult was to realize it's like look i was brought up privileged i was brought up with everything and then i learned another way to live life and then i heard stories and I heard other experiences from other walks of life. And I've heard stories that will just chill you to pieces. You know, like, I've really, it's been able to open my eyes. And I can't rephrase the words the same as what one of my good friends told me. But he said, KP, he said, you grew up another life. But by understanding Spanish and learning Spanish and dealing with other cultures, You've also learned another life. And so you've taken two people and you've created one. And that's what I like about this message. I've created one because I grew up a, a privileged only child, but then I've ended up being an advocate for people who don't, you know? And it's just like, I'm just praying that one day, like, my parents, like, We'll have a conversation and I'll be able to tell them some of the experiences that I've heard and they're going to be able to like understand me. You know what I mean? And like, like, thank goodness we've been like respectful about each other's views, but it's like obvious as fuck that like they always think the way that they always did. And it's like, I'm an only child. I was only raised a certain way, but I swear I found my own fucking way. I swear. And I found my only way by living life, by listening to people, by opening my eyes. And I'm just thankful that I'm not, like, close-minded like I used to. So, like I said, I've just grown up so differently, but I've changed so much in being, like, an independent, independent person. I moved out when I was 15 years old. You know, like, I decided to chase my life the way that I wanted to. And I always have, like, this frustration where it's, like, if I got the job that my parents wanted me to have, I would be gravy in their books, you know? But, like, because I work in mixing restaurants, like, that's not, 
that's not okay. Like, that's not an income. Like, that's not, you know, healthy. And I just don't understand, like, why do people love margaritas and burritos and tacos, but they don't understand sacrifices that the immigrants make? Every immigrant you meet has sacrificed their entire life to come here. You know, they have sacrificed everything, they've left everything. They have to pay, like, I want people to realize how much it costs to come here illegally. Like, for real. For real. Because they've spent way more money to for nothing, to come with nothing, to start with mo nothing, than an American would ever dream of. So, I just get tired of kind of like the stigmatism, you know what I mean? But like I said, my friend told me, you were two people involved in one. You grew up a certain way, you've understood another way of life, and that's molded you. And I am like this force that is between both. I'm between like, I understand the American way of life and how it's always been. Then I also understand the Latina life. And so I just want to use that like to my ability. Like I want to use that to help be a better person. But like it really is, I mean it's just kind of, it's just kind of sad just to realize that like, like, your parents will always have their views, and, like, now that you're an adult, like, you have the right to your own views, and, like, like, my dad respects that, but at the same time, my dad doesn't know what I've been through to be able to have that new experience, to be able to have that different opinion, if you know what I mean, so, it's just hard, because it's one of those moments where you can't run away from the fact that you heard your own drum... You did your own thing, and your parents haven't changed at all. And there's a lot of us that our parents have not changed at all, and our parents have, like, made us, like, just be a copycat of them, or you're just a rebel, you know? And I'm just a rebel. Like, I love them so much, but I wouldn't change for the knowledge that I have. I wouldn't change that. Like, my parents are smart as fuck, okay? Okay. But, like, they also don't know some of the life experiences that I've went through. And that's literally what has made me a better person. That's literally has brought me, like, above others. And so, with understanding a lot of sides of life. So, anyways, I just... It's hard whenever politics these days is in front of everybody. Like, politics is, like, the divider. Politics has become a fucking divider. You know, and it was hard to stick up to my, my dad and say, you know what? I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. And because you want to you wanna make your parents feel better. You want to impress them. You want to have the answers ready. But I can't because I have to beat to my own drum. And that's what I know. So anyways, I appreciate you guys. It's just been kind of like... An emotional, you know, moment where you realize that you guys are so different, but I'm different because of what I've been through and what I've learned and what I've done in my own personal journey that I would never would have learned if it would have been through their journey. So, you know, like I said, um, life is good. God is great. But we just got to be positive. I'm telling you. Good night, guys.